As far as beads go, we are one of the finest bead stores anybody on earth has ever walked into. We have beads, plastic beads for children, and we have beads that are 6,000 years old. So we have ancient beads, antique beads, African trade beads, gemstone beads, plastic beads, wood beads, shell beads, every type of bead you could possibly imagine. That's our beads. Our crystals, we have little crystals, and I'm sitting in front of a 400 pound healing amethyst geode. So we have crystals from all over the world, mined by friends of mine, and then I hand select every single piece. We have little pieces that are 50 cents that children can carry in their pockets. I have mine. And then we have uh, also stones you can wear. So I'm very much interested in the earth, in stones and crystals, and so beads, crystals, and more. You want to tell us a little bit more about the end more? I know you were speaking of um, healing classes and feed classes and things. Yes, so we have a beautiful new home in Vista, 350 East Broadway. We moved from Encinitas after 24 years. We are so happy to be part of Vista. And we have a bigger space, so we have more beads, more crystals, and more. We have a classroom we'll be teaching classes on grids, classes on wire wrapping, classes on stone healing, all different kinds of classes we will be having. We also have a healing room, which has a crystal mat, and we will be having some healing ther uh, therapy sessions. Again, once the COVID situation eases a little bit. Um, so we're really happy to be in our new space, and we're going to be growing into this uh, very much over the next year. Amazing. So you have quite a bit of history in this building, as well as you know things for sale and, and all sorts of just a plethora of, of different things. Um, it's very obvious that you're very much into what you do. Um, what kind of made you decide to even do this in the first place? So Beads, Crystals, and More is passion and joy and love, and it's been a life long journey for me. My dad got me interested in looking at the earth through a microscope when I was very young. So crystals have been with me since I was seven years old, and the crystals in the store again, all over the world, mined by friends of mine, shaped by friends of mine, and I hand select every piece. We have collectors, we have children, we have artists and designers. Um, Crystals and stones are really a universal language. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, as far as history, the beads, we have, again, beads that are 6,000 years old. We have a museum room in our, in our shop, and it's filled with African, Native American, Pacific Island, and Tibetan artifacts. The theme of the room is healing and children. And again, around the store, we have many. We have antique African drums, we have antique baskets and beadwork and ancient stone pieces, so there really is quite a lot of history here. We have a chart in our classroom that shows the history of beads dating back to 100,000 BC, every culture in the world. Is there anything exciting going on or happening that you want to share with the universe? Well, <laughs> Since you put it that way, <laughs> what a strange and unique and unusual time we're living in. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so the truth of the matter is we are happy to be alive, we're happy to be healthy, we're happy to have our doors open. Right now, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. We expect we will be open seven days a week down the road. Right now, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. And very happy to be here. And why do you think it's so important um, that people shop local? Well, I love small businesses. Being an entrepreneur first and then a shop owner, I've always loved people who are entrepreneurial, crafty, creative, um, 
going for their dreams and passions and opening up little businesses. I love all the restaurants around here. There's a lot of little shops down the street. So I just always think shopping local is lovely, supporting your community and small businesses and independent artists. So many people on Etsy, things like that now. Yeah. So I'm really thrilled to see people individuals doing business, doing commerce, supporting themselves, and most of, it, most of all, doing what we love. So. Right. So if a young person was, you know, thinking about doing their own thing, you know, what they can be for advice, what do you, what do you think you would tell them? Um, there's actually a, a lot of advice I could give them. Um, we have someone who just wrote to me online that I know for many years who works in massage. And right now her massage business is considerably slower than it's been and she's thinking about uh, doing an Etsy page with malas and crystals. So actually she's gonna come in and we're going to sit down. One of the things I shared with her is create a little business plan, create a budget, do what you love, you know, organize yourself. So having done this, um, you can do business in a very small, quiet way, or you can go for the gusto and try to really create some excitement. So right. You know, help. And, and how, as long as you're comfortable doing that, whichever way it is. Right. Um, and if someone have, has any questions or they want to contact you as far as, you know, to learn more about beads or crystals or to come in the store or have you look for a specific piece or something for them, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? So the store is at 350 East Broadway. Our phone number is 760-536-3663. Our email is beadlovers, one word, at AOL.com. And you can stop in, you can call, you can write. Uh, we're here again five days a week, and uh, Doris Ann and Savannah and Marcella work here, and they're all very knowledgeable, very helpful people. Uh, we do have people come to us and ask, please find me this. Right now, I'm searching for stone beads for a particular customer, and uh, so we, we do, we try to color outside the box as much as we can. We try to be as helpful as we possibly can with people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Chris Rainwaters with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties. If you'd like to visit their website, it's also means crystalsandmore.com. It's pretty easy. Either and come by the store or give us a ring. Right. <laughs>